Okay, folks, I've taken the liberty of taking off the wheel in advance of, you know, just for time-wise, time constraints. But uh, what I need to do now is... Okay. I'm just trying to set up a camera here because uh, we're not, you know... It's an electric handbrake on these. Right, you can get software to tell the cylinder or the little motor to go in reverse to retract the cylinder so that you can push it in. But look, we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you the gym shed way of doing this. Um, you know, it's it's a quicker way. Well, it's no, it's a slower way. But it's it's a layman's way and that's the purpose of these videos there's no point in showing you uh, videos about uh, doing stuff in a professional manner because gym shed is not a professional outfit you know i just do these videos just to show you guys you know so anyway i suppose the first thing to do is disconnect the electrics so we do that this little lad here, like that, pops out. I hope you can see that, lads. Just pops out, electric connection there. Just pop that out of the way. Okay. So, take off this guy first. Now, what am I going to need here? I'm going to need a tin 17 spanner to get in here. In there like that, into that retaining. Just like that. And, should pop out like so. Like that. So, I'm going to put all my screws and bits and bobs back here. Do the same thing on the bottom. these discs they're not great you know uh, they're on the car from day one so now before we do any more I'm going to go at this top turkey because it it's going to grow difficult later on so I'm going to do it now uh, right, Charles Shorty. <coughs> what did I do with that? Okay. So, Push in hard, that's all you have to do. Make sure you push in hard and just touch it like that. And she'll pop out, you know. Right, now. Uh, what do we need to do next? Pop out this, anyway. Here we go. Now, 
So, the motor, that's the motor. I'm going to disconnect the motor from the caliper. Right, but this time I'm going to use a smaller gun. Right, one I had prepared earlier. And just give it, make sure you get a good, get fully in on the, on the bolt. Like that, just like that, comes out like that. Same on the other side. Make sure we're off. And just take him like that. I'm going to tie up the calibers now shortly, but in the meantime, I'm just going to take the motor off now. Just wiggle it like that, and she'll pop off. You see the splines on it there. Okay, so just set that aside. Now, I'm now going to get. Torque T forty five. Right. And I'm going to put it on this side here. I'm going to feel the cylinder with the other, with my finger, with the, these two fingers here. These two fingers here. I'm feeling the cylinder, and I'm turning this anti-clockwise to see. I know that I have to go clockwise to retract the motor, wind motor section back fully like that. There's a go, that's it. Now, I could put the motor back on now if I want to, but I won't because it's, we'll, do, we'll save that for later. The next job now is to wind back the cylinder. So, it's easier said than done, right? So we need to prop it somewhere. Just uh, leave it like that for the moment. I'll just leave it. Just leave it like that for the moment until I get my uh, retracting kit, which I have prepared. There we are. That's the size you need. Three little diamonds on it, little nipples on it there, and you just slot it on like so onto the device. Now, whew, right, I'm going to try this, see how we go. Uh, get it ready anyhow, first of all. I want to do this in such a way that you can see what I'm at. Otherwise, there's no point in me doing it at all, so, yeah, okay. Uh, put that light there. Okay. There's one, two, three. There's three little inlets or inserts here that this fits into. So I need to close this fully. Like so. That's where I need to be. Then I tighten this until it takes up the slack, for the want of a better word. And I tighten as I go whilst rotating. Now I need to make sure that the rubber boot is fully off the outer sleeve so that it will allow To return this clockwise while keeping this tight at the same time. What I need to do is close in the cylinder, that's basically what I need to do. I need to find out, I need to establish which way I need to turn it 
to get it to go in and it just happens to be clockwise. Keep it going as you're going. Keep taking up the slack by rotating the outer collar here. I know you can't see it in my hand. See? You see what I'm doing? pressure on it, keep going in, like so, electric handbrakes are great, they're handy, but they're a nuisance, when you want to go change a set of pads, that's why rear brake shoes are brake pads, you don't have to change them that often, so you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're nearly there, nearly fully. And remember, we have to fully retract this because the pads are fairly worn on this, on the rear, this vehicle. Fully in there now. Yep, fully in. So now I'm just going to leave that hanging there for a minute, which is not a good thing, but I need to loosen two more. Uh, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on me first because this is a dirty job now. It gets dirty from later on. So, right. so we've finished, thankfully we've finished with this tool for the day, I can put it back in this box and just momentarily leave it there, set it aside for a minute. Uh, this is a little bracket that holds on the brake pipe, I need to take this out of the way. Momentarily. Momentarily. Uh, yeah. There's two, uh, as far as I know, there's two. Is there, as far as I can remember, doing these before. Yeah. There's two of them holding it on. This little bracket. Rusted true, rusted surface rust, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. The reason for that is the salt on the roads over in the UK. It's called preventive measurements preempt. Uh, whereas here, uh, we'll wait until it's too late. <laughs> anyway, yeah. wait until it is too late. Anyway. Yeah, look. Hear that squeaky noise, you know. Now that'll rest there like that, nicely, out of my way, because we have two large oh, bolts to take out to take the carrier off. In the meantime, 
Uh, what I'll do is take out the pads, memorizing which way they go, because there are two different sizes of pads on these. There's also, you have two little lugs here, but on the inside, you have one in the center. So that when I'm putting this back on, I need to make sure that the three lugs are centered so that when I put it back on, uh, it will be in the right position. Okay. I'm actually going to do that now in advance. So, so without further eloquence, I will get to it as soon as I can find a little there we go. Yeah, I'm going to show you now in the video now in a second. I don't need this. I don't need that. Put that out of the way. All I need is this so that I can turn that in such a way that it's centralize like that so when I put it back in it's gonna yep made it nicely that's grand I'm happy with that I'll just leave that there so okay uh, right what will we do now we take the pads out so is loose in here, <laughs> not like the front. <laughs> okay, there you go. About three quarter worn, pair of their boots, so set them aside. Yeah. Quarter, yeah. That's another thing worth checking as well. Right? Just to check your sliders. Pads, they're even, they're wearing evenly. In other words, the left pad and the right pad are wearing equally. That's to show that movement within the brake sliders is okay. If you've had, we'd say, three quarter worn on one side and the other side, that'll tell you one of your sliders are not. You know, it should float from left to right. So, that is the reason behind that. Now that won't come out because I have to take the carrier off. And these are very contrary, so. Uh, let's see how we go. Uh, right. Right, so 17 as far as I know, yeah, I hastened, yeah, right, it's going to take a bit of that persuasion to get this out, so, we let, uh, Oh, 
This one, there's always one that's... Whew, very difficult to get off. Anyway, I'll try this. Anyway, we got it. <laughs> so... Now... I'm going to pause for a moment and I'm going to clean this all the contacts and uh, the next time we come back hopefully this carrier will be back in its uh, back in its position so it's only going to be a second for you guys so I'm going to pause this for the moment all right folks I'm just giving a little bit of a clean where the new disc will be situated Making sure contacts are all clear. Yeah, we're looking good, are we? Now, what I might do there also, just to be sure, to be sure. tool does uh, yeah and the old yolk oh yeah While you're in here, just sit on, do a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of housekeeping, you know? Oh yeah. Nothing like it. A little bit of housekeeping, keep things in check, you know? Anyway, that's just that, generally tidied up. Yeah. Right. I think we're ready to put the disc on. Now, the camera is resting on the new disc. <laughs> so, I need to get something else to put and to use as a prop for the camera. So, just bear with me. I find something suitable.
Another pause. Sorry, folks. Now, here we go. You know, it's funny, like, uh, people ask this question, and uh, I think I know the answer to it, but anyway. Uh, this is the rear disc for a Nissan Qashqai, and it's a sizable item, however, uh, only a small proportion of it, maybe 70% of the disc is used and the rest of it is not why so big well it's not a ventilated disc right the bigger the surface area the heat will spread out more if you have a small disc gosh we only need like uh, a 450 uh, centimeter disc on the back right but you'll have less surface area for the heat to dissipate and that's why this disc is so big yet it's only using a small proportion of you know and the pads are so or the calibers are so far out uh, you know the mini the front discs are not even that size and yet there's better brakes on the mini but i just said i'd throw that piece of trivial uh you know, information in there. Anyway, so, okay, we'll put the, we'll put the disc on the car, right? So, uh, if you remember, I told you, don't use the large, uh, don't use the, use the large impact driver to put the torque, apply or to put back in the, the bolt because remember if you do you you might ring the but not only that you might never get off you know so no need you know it only needs a small uh, it only needs a small that's all it doesn't need any more that's it the disc is on happy days Right, we'll need that in a moment. Well, it'd be great if it was a moment, but not just yet. Anyway, now, what's the next job? Well, I'm going to put some... Chain lube. Just when I'm putting the wheel back on. You know, just to be safe, to be safe. This, as I said, <laughs> the pads won't be long about cleaning the discs. I don't think, you know, or grease, no. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> but look, it shows, it shows good practice, you know. It shows good practice. Oh yeah, she was good practice, you know. Absolutely. Now, what we need to do now is everything in reverse. Uh, put the carrier back on, and uh, yeah. So. Carrier I have prepared earlier, along with its two retaining screws, which are one of them is here on this already, which I'll use. Okay, which way does it go? I think it goes that way. <laughs> yeah, 
I think that's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, somehow I think I'm right. Anyway. We'll touch it up now in a moment. In the meantime, we'll just... Now. Okay, here we go. Here's the... Ready for the... Get in there now, buddy. Turn away. Oh, yeah. I went in there nicely. Now I have to try and get it out. Get the, uh, Actually loose, so I must address that. There you go. Yeah, I must address that. So I must. I know I shouldn't be using this, but I needed to use it down there, so that's why I. Uh, Okay. Oh, get back. That's it. That's not going anywhere, so we need to worry about that, folks. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. Now, right, okay, the carrier is back on. That wasn't cheap, so I need to mind that, you know. I shouldn't be using it for what I'm using it for, you know, so anyway. Yeah. Now, I think it's safe enough now that we can, uh, we can put the, uh, the motor. No, I, I won't. I'll put the pads in. That's what I'll do. Now, I want to show you this. There's a wide pad and there's a narrow pad. Okay? This is the one that goes in the back. This side. And there. And this is the one that goes out here. How do I know that? Because... You see that little nipple there? See it there? Well, if you look at inside of that this little indentation here mates with that center one there like that and that's why that's the one that goes on the inside now I have to be honest these are not easy to put on anyway, we'll try we'll try yeah I need what I need there. We need uh, what do I need? I need a, something to put this light on so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'll use this. I'll use my American persuader. I'll just sit it there on the ground and put that like that. It was a, yeah. Now, I don't have a bit of light. Okay, so, this text is going to take a bit of that. Uh, That went relatively easy. I'm very surprised. 
the way that went in for me. <laughs> but it's not in yet. <laughs> so, but it's nearly in. now though but I need to make sure yep very happy with that I have to say yeah I think the paint I think the paint was uh, yeah I think the paint on the uh, you know the Location points is what. Uh, right. So. That's the way to go. It's easier. It's always easier when you can see what you're doing. It's always easier. When you can see what you're doing. Yeah. They are in nicely. I just want to make sure. Yep. Yeah. That's supposed to protrude out there. Yeah, I'm very happy with that now, the way that worked out. So, I think I'll put the motor back on the... Uh, back on this. And... Uh, Make sure you put it on the wrong way also. So what I would do is I would offer it up just to be sure. Just to be sure. I'd offer it up like that. I just get one temporary. This is not I'm taking it out again in a minute, but just leaving it like that, just so I can see which way. But as far as I know, I think that's the way it goes. I think it's going to be going on like that. As far as I know, it's going to be going on like that. You know. So I'll take that out. And uh Wiggle it into position, making sure that we're lined up. Yep, now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of chain lube on these two screws because you don't want to mess this up. You want to make sure everything is bang on. So, right. Yeah, that looks lined up. That looks very nice. Make sure, hold on, she's starting to, now, okay, make sure you have a tread established, and then just apply light pressure, you don't have to hang out of these things because they're plastic. That's all you need to do. Simple as that. No heroics, lads. That'll do. Now, as I was saying, as previously mentioned, we have to make sure we get everything located the way it's supposed to. 
Yeah. Now for the retaining. Two retaining bolts. Make sure you get the proper ones. Just them there. Also a T torque 40 there as well. I prefer use the conventional way. Oh, that fell out. So we need to go like so. Now, here we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's fitting in there nicely. Now, where's me narrow? Uh, 17 mil spanner. Shorty, as I call them. Pretty disappear too. Where did he go? Huh? He decided to go. You know what? Missing an action. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get to him in a minute. I'll make sure these are properly located first. Yeah. <laughs> Getting old. Yeah. Yeah, you can't help getting old. Can't change that in there, I'm afraid. You just have to go with the flow. Oh. You just have to go with the flow. There's nothing you can do about it. You get no old, you're getting old. Anyway. Just slattering there like that. As I said, there's no need to hang out of these either. That's enough. No need to anymore. Remember, see left to right. That's very important so that you'll get even wear on each pad. Uh, and the disc, obviously. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going well here now, lads. That's enough. No need to go anymore. Now, I just overdone that, overcooked it a bit. Need to get this out first, and then I can go my last tighten. There you go. Right. Yeah. Nice even movement. Now, what else? Uh, I need to re-secure this bracket. Uh, which is these two little culprits here. And what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of chain lube on them just so it'll go in easier. Help things along. Help things along, folks. Okay, so put this light. Back inside again so I can see what's going on here. Okay, so oh, yeah, so that's one on and two. Okay. Not going so bad guys, 45 minutes. 
that. Pretty going, going pretty good. If it is. that done the electrics okay uh, back in here make sure you hear a click when you're putting it back in there you go clicked into position we're looking good boys now for the nice job Next job, a very important one. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give that a little touch up later on. But, yeah. Now, this is our uh, the plan is put it about there. That's my great moment of wisdom as I think it's the best way for this to go is like that uh, I want to try and go there and there yeah okay yeah right how are we going to go about that right First one is going to be the easy one. So what I need to do now is create a marker so that I can straight edge now. Uh, yeah. There's my two markers. Uh, you can see them there. Yeah. I wonder will I rearrange the camera so that you can get more insight as to what I'm doing here. So, yeah, you see the knees in the way, you know. I want to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. So. Created two markers, one there and one there. So I know what height I need to be at to get that there, thereabouts, where I want it. More or less where I want it. More or less now, lads. Let's not get excited, you know. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll start drooling. Get all my lubricants at the ready. Okay. So here we go. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Right. Let's have a look here and see. Ooh. Okay, that 
was uh, Just see where that is. Oh, perfect. I'm delighted with that. I'm very happy with that now. So, and go. Okay. Little bit of lubrication. A little bit of. that light there just so you can see yeah okay okay Another small bit, I think. I'll just put a squirt into it. Okay, I went right through there. That's no big. That's no big deal because that's grand, and I don't mind that. It just gives me plenty of room to uh, put a long bolt in it, but I don't need to. Now, okay, make sure this is oil I'm putting on this now. I make sure I have to make sure I um, spray it with spray cleaner when it's finished because you know, brakes are friction purposed. So now we have to make sure we're straight here. We have to make sure we're straight, just like that. As I said, M6 is what I'm using. And the grub screws are high tensile. So, happy it is. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. The way that's just turned out there. Yep. Now, I'm going to uh, clean it off. Now, I have to make this hole up to my bench drill, so back momentarily, and I'll make this hole slightly bigger. It'll only take 15 20 seconds. No need to move the camera. And let's see what was the result of my efforts. Was it satisfactory? Uh, we'll see now in a minute. <laughs> now, uh, this light is impeding my vision. So, yeah, yeah, satisfactory, I have to say, very, very satisfactory. 
I mean, yeah, she looks like, I have to say now, she looks like an AMG GTR or something. It's, it's brilliant. I've worked out well now. Okay. The next hole. That's my gauge point. So I reckon about there. If my calculations are correct. I reckon I need to put it about there. Yep. Okay, I've marked it. Hopefully it's in a good spot. We'll know now soon enough. Yeah. Brilliant, look at that, bang on point. The light of it there, dead centre. Dead centre. Oh yeah, that's brilliant, per perfect. So, lubricant again. Adding the lubricant. Go a little in there. Oh, lovely. Very good, delighted with that. Whew. Tap it out now. And uh, as I said, M6. M6 is what I'm using. Here we go. Bit of lubrication, drill bits, you know. If you keep lubricating the drill bit, uh, it'll never go blunt. Actually, self sharp, self sharpening, you know. So, whenever you're drilling holes, you now it's different if you're drilling hole and the likes of that. It's only tin, yeah. But drilling insert holes like this, lubrication is vital. It's just you know. What's the word? Sacrosanct? That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, this job now deserves a cup of tea at the end of all this. A nice piece of uh, maybe a chocolate muffin or something. Yeah. Uh, now, blow it off. Excuse the noise, folks. Yep. Excuse the noise. Compressor's running there.
was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was, and I am, and I will. <laughs> I was, I am, and I will. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, right. Right. Okay. So. Okay. That should do it. That should be enough to see me through. It's just a finishing touch, you know. Just a finishing touch, you know. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Very good. Very happy the way that turned out now, I have to say. Very good. Now, ladies and gents, the moment of truth. Huh? <laughs> yeah, now, if I can find me grub screws now, I'd be flying it. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, wait now. I almost forgot. <laughs> Treadlock. Yeah. Don't forget that. Okay. So. Okay. Let's have a look here and see how we get. See how we get on with this. certainly am yeah worked out very nice not only that it's still floating yep very happy with that very well now I have to say very very well still floating very happy with that there's just a little bit I need to take a little nick out of the bottom corner it's just impeding a little that won't take much of an effort to sort out if I can find That's how disorganized you get when you're doing a job like this. Uh, battery's gone on that. Needs to be recharged. Uh, you know, you just end up throwing stuff all around the place. And where did I put this? Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. Anyway, I just need to take a little bit off in there. But. This is positioned wrong. I need to turn this this way. Like so. Oh. 
Oh yeah, feel that now. <laughs> yeah, total, total success. Total success, very important, but uh, I'm just going to demonstrate now in a minute. Oh. It's very important that this, see, sliders can still work, otherwise we're at nothing, you know. That's very important, you need to be able to maintain that lateral movement on the, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, will the uh, will the wheel go on? <laughs> I'm confident. Put it that way. Yeah, I'm confident. I'm confident it will. Yeah. We shall see. Looks amazing, though. I mean, if you're looking at it from here, you'd swear this is, you know. Uh, the way it's meant to be, you know. You know. Get the light. You know. Brilliant job, I have to say. I'm very happy with that now. Sliding in and out nicely. Very happy with that job now, I have to say. Okay, so I'll put the wheel on now and just see. Make sure. Be sure to be sure. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Uh, check out one of my uh, video. I don't know. I did it about a year ago. It's a, you know the way. It's very hard to. Now this wheel is barely off the ground, so it's easy for me, and I'm sitting down on. But if you're out, you know you're doing a job in a car, and you're. Your problems getting the wheel on. Well, I have a video on a quick way of how to counter counteract that. A quick way of putting on an easy way of putting the wheel on the car. So it's a video well of checking out. I'll put a link in the description, and uh, hopefully you guys will find it useful. Anyway, yeah. 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 Well, how are we looking? Have we free movement? We do. Absolutely brilliant. I'm incredibly satisfied with that job. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What you hear there is the pads rubbing off the disc. That's what that is. You know. Uh, when I start the car and then turn off the engine, the motor will wind and it'll take a little bit longer than normal for this side. Uh, for the brakes to engage because the motor is fully open, it's, it's in the fully open position. Uh, I'll do that turn on ignition on there now in a minute. And uh, lock nut, let's not forget the lock nut. Let's not forget that. Now, so, that's enough, you don't need to overdo it. I'll do a, a hand tight and check on these later on. But I have to say, 
looks amazing. I have to say I'm delighted with the how that turned out. Uh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, it looks an awful lot better than it did at the start of the video, you know. Now I'm going to do uh, ignition on, ignition off, so that you can, uh, you'll hear the, uh, the motor will take a little bit longer on this side, because it's in the fully open position. So, without further eloquence. Handbrake on. Brilliant. Handbrake off. Okay. Make sure we still have free movement. Yep. Yeah. Satisfactory, that's a brilliant job, job well done. I'm delighted with how that turned out. Uh, now I have the uh, horrible task of tidying up, cleaning up the shed, you know. But that's, you know, that's all part of the, uh, it's a long video, it's, it's almost an hour and a quarter, but I think it was worth it, you know, to give you guys a, little insight of what goes on here in the shed, you know. Um, yeah. Delighted the way it turned out. Uh, we're still wearing these uh, face masks and still using sanitizers. It's still with us, guys. So, remember, keep your distance when in enclosed places or whatever, and keep wearing your mask when you're, well, I don't know, using public transport or whatever. Stay safe. Thank you very much for sticking with me on this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. <laughs> you know, look, without you people, I wouldn't quite bother doing these videos, you know. But, uh, yeah. Um, I have the uh, laborious task now of tidying up. But that's all. It'll take me about 15 minutes to put everything away. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, we will uh, we'll see you on the far side. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.